Alrighty, everyone, this is uh, Brian again. I'm going to be doing one that's been requested for a bit. I thought I had done it, but I guess not. So we're going to walk through a complete installation of MT4. I'm going to show, in my opinion, the best way to set it up to uh, to keep you from having issues with the software. Um, since build 600 plus, it switched to the MT5 type structure of of how it's set up. So some people are having issues with finding indicators, placing indicators, then once they do them, finding them again, because by default it is setting up to what's called a roaming profile. Um, the first thing I'd recommend then is just go into your computer, go into your drive, and create a folder. Mine's going to be called TW because I'm going to be giving you Trader's Way. Um, this way you don't have to go to the website, download shit, just all you're going to have to do is look in the description, and you should find this file here, TW4 Setup. So that way you don't got to do anything but open this up and run with me as we install. Um, just to make this a new one, we'll do da -da, new folder. So you right click, do new folder, you can name it TW, and I'm going to do it TW demo for y'all. Okay, so once you've created that, close it, download the file that's in the description, and it should be TW4 setup. What are we going to do? Double click it to get it going. It should say it may or may not, depending on operating system. Open file security warning. Meh, hit run. It's going to come up to this. Hit next. Yes, you agree with whatever they're asking you to agree with. I don't want to read it because I don't care. Okay, next stop installation folder. Let's go to browse. Let's go to local disk C and find that TW demo. Notice I'm, you can double click it, whatever. It's empty. Just click. Okay. If you forgot that step, make new folder, add it to your C drive. But okay. Create desktop now. Open MQL website. No launch program after successful. No. Let's go ahead and click next. It's going to say you are a folder that's already there. Just click yes. It's going to download the files and install. This doesn't take too long as your internet completely blows. Once it's completed, the next will light up. So unless my comp internet blows, my computer freezes up, we are good. It should light up next here in a moment. You can see the the uh, the icon appeared up here, so we want to remember that. Click Finish. Nothing open because we told it not to. And there we go. Next step. How do we do it? Let's go to here. Let's go to Properties. Depending on your operating system, this may be different. But under Shortcut, Target is there. Go to the end of it. See, I remove the E, hit the spacebar once, forward slash, which is the one on the question mark button, portable, P-O-R-T-A-B-L-E. If you want to make sure it worked, hit apply, and then OK. It may give you an alert saying you need administrator access to do that. If it does, go ahead and hit yes and let it do it. So we have slash portable. Next, let's go to compatibility. Run this, da, 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 where, run this program. I have no idea why it's not saying run this program as an administrator, but uh, it's probably because I already have it set up too. But here, let's go in again, and double check. Okay, so if it has it there, make sure mark run this program as administrator. I have no idea why it's not letting me, but that needs to be marked. Let's go ahead and open it up. First time you open it. might take a few seconds. It's going to download data to get some info on your charts, even though it's not going to let you connect. We're going to show you how to connect here briefly. While it's doing that, just FYI, I switched from Hypercam to Bandicam. Pretty good software. I am not advertising, just saying it's good if you're recording your trades. Okay, so we're going to get up to trading servers. Trader's Way demo, blah, blah, blah. We just hit next. New demo account. Next. You can put whatever you want in here. Mickey Mouse, wherever. Like M-I-C-K-E-Y, M-O-U-S-E. And most of this other crap is just generic information I put in there. You can pick your leverage, whatever you want. None of this crap really matters. The only thing you want to make sure is USD, what you pick here. I'm picking USD. Click Agree, hit Next. 
Save your login and password. You can just hit print screen so you can save it for later. If you're going to connect to something like MyFXbook or that other crap, you also need to know the investor. But just keep the login and password print screen and paste it to wherever. Hit finish. Down at the bottom, it should go ding. You'll see green, red, and you should get data. It's going to say waiting for update. If you leave it there, it'll say waiting for update all date. Close these. Incoming mail. Incoming mail, yay. Okay, first thing I do is I close this out. Here's your navigator window for indicators. Here's your symbols. Before you close this, right click close, blah. Before you close it, right click on it and do show all. That will give you all pairs available, including some metals and oil, things like that, for Trader's Way. If you want to add a chart, I do not recommend doing it this way because you can do it. Oh, yay, it's working now, see? So that waiting for update goes away. But if you want to add another chart, you can do it this way, but if your charts are full screen, and let's say this is GPD USD, and I want to add Euro, it puts it right on top, and it doesn't open up a new tab down here. So let's go ahead and close that. We want to add another chart. We go to New Chart, and here's our charts, ECN, Energies, Metals, and Indices. So let's say we want to add in GBP, JPY. Now if we look down here at the bottom, we have three tabs. Same chart twice. We'll close one. I'm not going to show anything on how to use MT4 today. I'm just going to show how to add indicators and get it up and running. So we can close this box now too. We have our chart. Next thing we want to do, we go. We should see indicators, expert advisor scripts. If you're missing those folders, stop, reinstall, uninstall, reinstall. Okay, so indicators, trend. We notice there's none here. We want to add a custom indicator. So let's go to File. And here's the easiest way I found to do it. Open Data Folder. Once you get to open data folder, we go to MQL4 and indicators. Oh, there's the same indicators we see here. They're here. Now, making it easy, let's just minimize this. So ooh, we have a window we can work with. So here's a custom indicator. I uh, know that's a template. Here's a custom indicator. We just drag it over. Indicators there. Now we want to add a template. What you can do is you can back up. Go to your folder. Here's templates and you can throw in a template. I don't have the indicators for that one but I'm just showing how to add a template. Okay, so you've added in your custom indicators. Close this. Go here. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Notice they do not show up here yet, so let's close this. Reopen. And yay! What do we see over here? Here's the indicator we just added. And there we go. Indicator's there, and it's been added in. Remember, you, if you need to add them again, you just go to File, Open Data Folder. It's always going to go to MQL4. Now, if you have an Experts Indicator, it goes in the Experts file. If it goes in the Indicator, it's Indicators. And there's some that will say Libraries, and those are for some of the more advanced ones. You put it in the Libraries folder. If you need to add something else in. Your templates are here. If you're going to use custom sounds, they're here, and your profiles are here. That's pretty much sums it up, guys. It's very easy to do, and it should avoid all the problems that a lot of people are having. What happens is, by default, where it stalls, installs is, if I could click the right thing, it puts it in program files x86 so here's my Owanda install now the problem with that is is it lets it under Windows control everything in the programs folder Windows monitors so it puts all your indicators in a roaming profile which trust me let's see if if it does I think I have it disabled but maybe not see how I go MQL4 indicators and it goes here. Instead it'll say roaming profile and it puts it under your username and it makes it a living nightmare to find. Plus a lot of times it won't even show them after you install them. So hopefully this is an easy way for y'all to get MT4 up and running. Again, I'm going to put the download link to Trader's Way in the uh, description of the video so you don't even have to go to Trader's Way and sign, for us, sign up for it. It is free, but either way you got a complete walkthrough right here now on how to set it up, add custom indicators without a headache. Should keep you out of trouble. 
Other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any requests, questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm always available somewhere to help you all out. Have a great day.